September 8th was my last day at Google after 13 years of working for this company. In this video, I'd like to explain why I left and what's next for me. Wait, 13 years? Yeah, I started in 2008 as employee number four in Google Czech Republic. And um, this was a long time ago. It was before Android and it was before Chrome, the browser. People here in the Czech Republic, where I'm currently making this video from, uh, they didn't know Google. Maybe like 15% of people would know what Google is. And those people would think, oh, it's this obscure, uh, you know, power user kind of search engine. Uh, so yeah, it was a different time. I tried so many things at Google. I studied as a technical guy in sales. I did uh, events. I uh, built internal tools. I was producing apps. I was speaking at conferences, so many conferences. Um, uh, which which was great. I was also like mentoring startups and so many other things that I don't even remember. This will sound incredibly cheesy uh, as the rest of the video, I guess, but but uh, I am actually proud of my work at Google. I, from the very beginning, for 13 years, I spent my time at Google uh, teaching people about transformative technologies. Things like I started with analytics and AdWords and website optimizer, and I ended up with Flutter and Dart. And all of those things, for the people who were listening, they they could completely transform their careers. And there was hundreds of thousands of people, right, that that watched my videos or attended conferences where I talked or anything like that. So yeah, uh, so I guess I am proud of my work at Google. So why do why quit, right? Why quit now? Look, I kind of wish I had something cool to say here, like uh, some great reason or some juicy like internal struggle or something like this. But the the actual reasons are actually boring. It's it boils down to being able to live the life that I want to live uh, close to my family, and uh, because I'm now back in the Czech Republic where I'm from where all like all of my family is basically and uh, I can talk about this for ages but probably not in a public YouTube video so if you and I ever have coffee together uh, I'm I'm happy to discuss but not here what I wanted to say and why basically the reason why I'm making this video is I don't want anyone to think that this is about oh um, of you know, Philip is uh, disappointed with uh, Flutter 2.5 or whatever. <laughs> no, it's it's really it's really uh, just personal choice. It's not uh, a statement about anything. There's no drama, unfortunately. I still love Flutter. I think it's a fantastically productive uh, app development environment. I will be using it for the foreseeable future. I love Dart. I think it's a fantastic balanced. Mwah, boring language that that just gets out of your way and uh, lets you be productive. I, you know, I could, and also, I can't believe I almost didn't mention it, but the the community is is still feels like a sm like tightly knit community of people who are humble and nice to each other and welcoming, and that's such a big part of of like why. I like Flutter and why I want to still be a big part of it. Also, 13 years is a lot. It is a lot. Even though I wasn't bored at all during that time, at some point you have to say like, hey, it's, it's enough. Which brings me to what do I do now? I hope it's clear by now that this is not a career move. I, I don't have any immediate plans as to employment, right? Uh, but that doesn't mean that I will just be sitting idly and doing nothing. I, I do still want to continue explaining complex things to smart people, which is kind of what I've been doing for the past 15 years, even before Google, I was doing this. And I think there's definitely things to be taught about 
performance in Flutter, how to make your apps fast, about design in Flutter. I'm going to do that even though I'm not going to be paid by Google to, to do that anymore. I also have my self-improving developer project, which is uh, more tuned towards like not just Flutter, but in general, if you are a self-taught developer, uh, things that you might not know because you missed the kind of the computer science education and that you might want to know. Um, and I, and that, that's just like uh, right now it's like a book, but maybe it's going to be something else. I don't know yet. And of course I have my game slash book thing, uh, the Knights of San Francisco and e-game book and stuff like this, which I uh, released in May to great acclaim uh, but I didn't really do anything about it since then because I was busy with a bunch of other stuff and I hope that I'll be able to come back to it and maybe create a sequel and, and stuff like this so stay tuned if you're into that as well in other words I'll be busy uh, both with family and with work and uh, I'm fortunate enough to be able to shift the focus a little bit towards family but I'm not retiring or anything so uh, I'll see you around